All right, how's it going? So today we're going to be talking about a subject that, to be honest, I think is actually very important to talk about because when you play any game or really any gacha game, could be specifically Arknights, you will find yourself at some point maybe starting to play the game less or just starting to get a bit more bored of it. So in this video, we're actually going to talk about what I actually find very helpful if you are starting to get bored of a game and kind of what I do to try and at least make it a bit easier on me and not just quit the game. Obviously, a lot of people give the advice that you should just stop playing the game. And to be fair, it is great advice. If you are getting bored of a game right at this very moment, I would personally recommend just have breaks from the game or just do not play at all. I think honestly, having a break from a game is actually better because you'll come back more rejuvenated and you'll actually want to play the game properly. But if you really don't want to let go of the game, let's address the most important thing. So first of all, it is using your stamina. I know that in a lot of games, especially gacha games, Using your stamina is very important and it kind of feels like you have to sometimes because you're not going to be able to build units any other way. Even though stamina is very useful and you should be using it daily if you really do want to get the most out of the game, I actually personally think that if it's going to end up killing the game off for you and just grinding is not really fun most of the time, I think you should just try and not use your stamina constantly. I would sometimes be like, do I feel like grinding right now? No? Okay, I'm not logging in. If that lasts two days, three days, maybe just a whole day, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you don't want to play the game anyway. There is no reason to force yourself to play the game and then just end up regretting it at the end of the day. Now, actually talking about something that doesn't require stamina and I think is probably the most dispensable thing in the game, it is probably the base. In general, the base is fantastic for you to get LMD and XP, but the actual base system is pretty garbage. I'm not going to lie to you. To this day, they still haven't changed anything on it. I know some people do sometimes defend it and say it's in the beta. Is the game in the beta? Not really, so I think they should change it at some point, but this is probably most dispensable thing. Doing a lot of the activities in the base, like exchanging operators for others, is just tedious. It can take a bit of time. And personally, if you start to get bored of the game, I personally recommend just stop doing it. And if you're still not convinced about leaving the base alone, you can technically keep the operators in there, they will lose morale eventually, but you can still get resources either way from this. Even though it's much slower, it's still something at the end of the day and you don't have to exchange with operators. So this moves me on to the next part of the video, which I think is very important to talk about. And that's building operators that you actually want to build. I know that a lot of the time people will tell you to build specific operators and that's fine. But personally, I would not build operators that you don't want to build. Just because they're a good unit, doesn't mean they're a fun unit and I think at the end of the day if you're trying to enjoy the game you should always be building characters that you enjoy the playstyle of. If they're not doing well and you just have a team full of bad operators you're gonna feel that anyway and you'll end up diverting yourself into building good characters. If you don't do that then maybe you just enjoy playing with fun characters. Personally I pulled for Gnosis recently. He is an amazing character but to be honest, I don't think he's really my type of character specifically. So I'm probably going to build someone else after, like Ali, who I think is actually really fun. And I like the playstyle of, you should always be building characters that you enjoy. Because what is this game for? Trying to have fun. So actually talking about characters you might want to build, this kind of moves me on to the next point, which I think is probably my favorite one. This is actually looking at characters that will be coming over the next few months to the game. If you plan out who you're going to be pulling for, I actually find that to be very nice and just a quite enjoyable experience because it kind of gives you a reason to play the game, it kind of gives you a reason to farm, and I think it's actually the main reason why actually playing with 6 months ahead from CN is actually really nice because we do get that kind of information, we know who's going to be coming. Personally, I cannot wait for Chong Yue, I'm super duper hyped when he comes around. He's actually been the main reason I'm playing the game at the moment so heavily because I want to build on my roster, I want to be able to get the most out of him, and most important, I need to try and get pulls for him, which is not always the most enjoyable thing because you can get unlucky a lot of the time. Like personally, I've got quite unlucky recently, but in the past, I've had to go crazy on the pulls, and I know a lot of people quit the game because of bad RNG. I just want to say this now, building up your summons and actually trying to get more pulls can be quite an enjoyable experience, so hopefully that can kind of keep you exhilarated in the game. And if you are curious what banners will be coming over the next 6 to 8 months, I'm going to leave a link in the description for my video going over that. I kind of go through every banner that will be coming and honestly, 
There's a lot of really fun ones and I can't wait to pull for some of these units. So this moves me on to the next point which I want to talk about and this is a little bit more difficult to talk about because it kind of depends if you can actually even do this. It's actually making a new account for Ark Knights. When I find myself bored of the game at some points, I actually thought it would be a good idea to make myself a new account and start like a challenge account or just build upgrades that I've not built before. For me personally, I found it to be quite helpful, but sometimes it has actually been quite tedious. You do have a short honeymoon period with a new account, but I do find the actual grinding, once you start getting back into it, it does kind of become annoying. But if you are getting bored of the game, maybe it's worth just trying to make a new account, build some upgrades you haven't had the chance to build, and maybe it will kind of make you feel excited again. And if not, you just don't play the account and you just move on. That's what I personally do. If you're the type of person who has several accounts as well and you already have like a second account, maybe even a third account, I would probably recommend to stop playing them if you don't find the game enjoyable anymore. I would pick one account that you enjoy and just stick to that because if you're playing several accounts, it can actually kind of burn you out a bit more because you're trying to keep up progress, you're trying to grind on everything. I personally don't mind it because I don't really put too much pressure on myself. Sometimes I don't even use stamina. I just find that more enjoyable personally. But honestly, that's my opinion about this subject. I actually do think it's very close to me because I have quit so many times. I don't see myself doing that anytime soon because I just really don't put pressure on myself. If I don't want to play Ark Knights, I'm just not going to play it. I will have breaks from time to time. In terms of content, I try not really to play this game too much because if you play a game a lot and you try and like make videos on it, it's good and bad at the same time. Honestly, if you found this video helpful, please do drop us a like. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or any experiences you've had with actually quitting games or just having a break, let us know in the comments. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you next one and adios.